Remember your early days of playing soccer? Remember your first coach? The defenders defend. Forwards attack. Midfielders do both. And it is absolutely correct. As players develop through the years, they inevitably face another question. The question of priorities. What should they focus on during training as their primary area once they achieved an overall well-rounded development? To answer this question, one needs to know what are the primary attributes of their position. When it comes to midfielders, they can do it all. Run, mark, provide just about every kind of support, pressure the ball, tackle, assist, score, you name it. However, among all the abilities, there is one that helps midfielders to set the game tempo or game speed, dictate the direction of play and overall make sure that the game flows for their team and is difficult for the opponent. We are sure you know what that one special midfielder ability is. It is their skill of passing. Teams spend most of every training session working on passing either as a focus activity or as part of other drills. Then how come most players have average passing skills? Of course, we are not addressing the technical part of passing, meaning connecting with the ball when making a pass or receiving the ball. The technical ability is usually sound. We are discussing the most important aspect of passing that has to do with decision making. It is what you do before you make the pass and what you do before you receive the ball that is mostly ignored at training. The players with the greatest passing ability have three standout traits that allow them to excel in passing. Trait 1. Anticipation as connected with the player's speed of thought. The players with the greatest speed of thought demonstrate the highest level of anticipation. They know before anyone else how the next play will unfold and what will be the best next actions as they receive the pass. When players anticipate well, they have a few extra moments on the ball compared to other players. As a result, they establish themselves as the most important players on the team. To be able to anticipate plays, one must possess acute awareness of their surroundings on the field. The more detailed information they gather and process, the more effective will their next action be. First and foremost, it means they must keep their head up during plays. Trait 2. Composure. Staying calm on the ball allows a player to calculate and execute their passes calmly without rushing, making the best decisions. Players with the greatest composure on the ball consistently demonstrate great ability to make the most effective passes. Trait 3. Communication. We can claim with a great degree of confidence that you are still working on your ability to read your teammates' mind, and so are your teammates. You must continuously work on improving your communication skills every practice and every match. Teammates do a better job both showing for passes and receiving passes around midfielders who are excellent communicators who are able to convey to their teammates what they're about to do next.